reports, and we continue to follow a workplace mass shooting in Western Maryland that left three people dead and a fourth person injured. And WJZ has been on the scene since yesterday afternoon. As soon as this news broke, we are back there tonight again. Ava Joy Burnett is live right now to tell us more about what she's learning. Ava Joy. Vic and Rick, we're getting some new details this afternoon. Officials here in Washington County tell us that the suspect came to work, worked a full day, and it appeared as if it was going to be a normal day. That's until police say he went back inside the building and opened fire on his co workers. New details reveal what happened here at Columbia Machine before a workplace mass shooting. The Washington County Sheriff's Office said their investigation has revealed that the suspect reported for his shift, worked a full day, and then sometime around 2.30, he left, went to his car, retrieved a weapon, went back inside the area of a break room, and started shooting his co-workers. I have three priority fours inside the building. I have no other viable individuals in here. Three victims were shot and killed, and a fourth worker was found injured outside the Smithsburg, Maryland business. Officers from the Smithsburg Police Department were the first on the scene and located an injured subject outside the business in a field. The sheriff said 50-year-old Mark Allen Fry, 31-year-old Charles Edward Minnick, and 30-year-old Joshua Robert Wallace were all killed. In a Facebook post, a woman who said the youngest victim was the love of her life wrote, My heart is completely shattered. Our future is gone. You're gone. Law enforcement said after the shooting, the suspect took off, and when troopers confronted him, there was a shootout. Shot! This woman said she witnessed that confrontation with police. The cop actually stopped him, and pl he plowed into the side of the cop and T-boned him. <laughs> Not normal around my hometown. A state trooper and the suspect were both injured. The trooper was released that same day, but the suspect is still in the hospital. The suspect is in custody at the Marriage Medical Center. He's identified as a 23-year-old Hispanic male who resides in West Virginia. We are not releasing his name at this time because he has not been charged. Friday, we spoke with this woman who said she knows the family of one of the victims, 31-year-old Charles Minnick. It's, it's, there's an eerie air today. There's a very quiet, sad air today. And this evening, we're learning that a search warrant was issued for the suspect's home in West Virginia. And officials are telling us that additional weapons were found inside the residence. Now, Smithsburg, Maryland, is a really tight-knit community. There are about 3,000 people who live here, and everyone seems to be touched by this in some way. Tomorrow, there will be a vigil here in this community for the victims who passed away. We've posted additional details on our social media pages if you'd like to attend. Live tonight in Western Maryland, Average Joy Burnett for WJZ.